I am so excited about this month's theme. You guys have no idea. Hello, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met already, hello, hi, the name's Quinn. It's very nice to meet you. Today I'm gonna be setting up my bullet journal for the month of October and I'm so, so pumped about the theme for this month. I really feel like I went all out with it. Over on my Patreon, you guys voted for what theme you guys wanted to see and drum roll please, it's cats and costumes. <laughs> it is so cute, I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do a theme with cats incorporated into it somehow for quite a while now. And then this month, it was just perfect and it was fitting. Just putting some cats in some costumes, putting them on a page, it's adorable. I used a handful of different mediums into my bullet journal for this month, so it's really exciting to see how it all turned out. So a small disclaimer about the footage that you're about to see. Typically in my videos, I use two type of angles. I have the top down shot and then one from the side. The top down shot that I filmed apparently didn't save anywhere. So I had to go and pull the footage from the live video that I did for my Patreon from putting together the whole bullet journal and use that footage in this video. So the quality that you're about to see from that top down shot is not the best. I'll be honest. You know, we make mistakes here in life and we learn from them and now I've learned how to use my equipment. <laughs> That's just a small disclaimer. I'm gonna try to not use that top down shot as often as I normally would have because it's mm -mm -mm -mm, not the proudest moment, but you know, we live and we learn kids. You live and you learn. So without further ado, grab for yourself a tasty snack or a lovely beverage. I have a mug full of paint water right now, not a beverage or a tasty snack. Maybe to my cat it is, but and let's just get right into the video. All right, so getting right into everything here, look at this beautiful shot. Um, but this here is my Dingbats journal. I love it, we know we love it, and it's fantastic. And then the materials that I'm using, super fun. I'm using my Crayola Super Tip washable markers, my Micron pens, and then something new that I'm adding in this month. This month I'm using my Prismacolor color pencils here. Super fantastic. And then I'm gonna be using my Signo white gel pen. And we're just gonna get into everything here. And I do apologize about how awful this shot is, but that's the last time I'm going to apologize for this and as normal i laid everything out first with a pencil and now i'm just going in with some of the marker now right here i want it to be kind of like a spoopy little smoky effect so of course i'm going in after the markers and using just the smallest amount of water here on this paintbrush to kind of move everything about it kind of does a faux watercolor effect here in the notebook the trick is you want to go in quick while the marker is still wet but you don't want the paintbrush to be too wet because it will dimple the paper and just going back in, adding a couple more lines, like makes it really have that nice little like smoky tendril type of effect here. And the theme for this month that was voted on by my patrons is the cats and costumes. So on the left here, I have this fun little cat that's dressed up as a witch. I wanted to play it with the textures. So for the costumes, I had it be the faux watercolor type of effect. And then the fur, I just used the Prismacolor color pencils. In the top, I wanted the cat to be dressed up in a sheet like a ghost. And since the sheet is white um, and it's on a white piece of paper, to be able to see it, I just used like some blue and some gray. I'm painting in the corner just a fun cat toy that the ghost cat is jumping after. And then the witch's cauldron with some of that super fun witch's brew. If you think about it, a cat would be the perfect witch. Now for a black cat, I put down some blues first to kind of add some more of depth to it. And then I went in with a black because I didn't want it to be just a full, just black, dark cat. If you look at a black cat, there's a lot of different fun colors that can be highlights and everything. And then I went in with the orange cat here on the top for a ghost. These were really fun because you guys use so many different colors to kind of add some different depths with the color pencil. And then I wrote out October here on the right and I used that smoky effect to kind of lead your eye through where it says October. Used a thinner lined micron pen to do some drop shadows. And 
and then wrote out my quote here on the left, which is spooky snuggly season, because I feel like that's pretty appropriate for the entire theme and just the entire month in general. I went through and outlined everything with a micron pen, everything except for the cats, because I feel like just having the cats with the fur, I just like how that looks a lot better. Using the micron pens to draw the eyes and the little nose and the mouth and the whiskers. Adding in some extra little details and then I used the white gel pen to put the little sparkly whites in their eyes. And that does it for the cover, so on to our next spread. Now, as usual, this is going to be my month at a glance, and I like to put the month up in the top left corner just so that way when I'm flipping through, it's easier to find everything. Decided this month that the fonts that I wanted to use was just going to be thin and uppercase, just very spooky, kind of. And for this spread, I wanted the cats to kind of be dressed up like they're in a pumpkin patch. So I was able to draw some pumpkins, and this was just so much fun and so cute. Definitely something you could do if you don't want to incorporate cats in costumes, you can just do pumpkins. Outlined the month here with some green vines using a light green and then went back in later. You'll see later I went in with a dark green. And then on the left I wanted a cat to be jumping and so I decided to put it in a bee costume. Which drawing a side profile of a cat is a lot, lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I definitely made my cat very confused by just how often I was staring at her while drawing everything. Because you know, like I needed my references. Writing out the dates Sunday through Saturday at the top with a little space on the right for my to-dos for anything that I know I need to do that month, but I'm not fully sure of when I need to do them. I'm absolutely obsessed with these pumpkins. It kind of gives me like Beatrix Potter vibes, if you get it. A little watercolor, a little outline. I love them. And that does it for this spread, so on to the next one. So this one here is my spending and my income log. Over on my Patreon, I go through and I write out everything that we spend our money on and all the money that's coming in. This is a great thing to do if you yourself are working on trying to come up with your own budget. Track everything that you spend. It really does help you try to put together like a baseline for yourself. For this spread, I wanted to make sure I had a lot of space in the middle to write out everything, so I decided to make it kind of like a little kitty kingdom. I think that cat towers really resemble cat castles for me, and truly, my cat is the queen of the house. So I decided that for the cat in this spread, she was going to be dressed up like a queen. She has this big, beautiful cape on and this beautiful gold crown. Just outlining the cat castle here drawing in all the little holes for the cat tower. I felt like a nice fluffy orange cat was perfect for this type of costume. Now I knew that I wanted to set up the spread a little bit different this month, but when I was putting this all together, I wasn't fully sure how I was gonna do that. So I just kind of left it blank for right now. So that's it for this tracker and on to the first weekly spread of the month. So once again, putting the month here at the top left and then cash envelopes here on the right. If you don't know, I stuff cash envelopes here on my channel as well. Talk about budget, talk about money, super fun, love the space. <laughs> now the spread, I am so, so pumped on the theme for this spread. With it being Halloween and cats and costumes, if you can't already tell, each page kind of has a different costume themed and for this one. Ah, I did Nightmare Before Christmas because I might have been watching the movie while I was putting together this entire idea. So I have Jack Skellington and Sally, and then I also have Zero here in the top, except Zero's not a dog, Zero's a cat. And one thing I've been forgetting to do for a while now was actually put together the dates of the week. So I put that in the top left corner and it's just going to be in some candy. 
Of course, I had to put in this swoopy little mountain in the middle and oh my gosh, the spread, you guys, it blows my mind. I love it so much. With blending all the colors, you have to be very careful with making sure that it doesn't bleed too much. You're not using too much water and the timing is just right so that way you can actually blend everything together. Went in, wrote out the days of the week, as well as the dates of the week over at the top. And then just using that pen, I went out and outlined everything. Zero Hero the cat is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I drew out Jack Skellington as a white cat with some black makeup. I felt like that was appropriate, but I don't know, drawing cats in different figures was just a wild ride for me. Very different, but I loved it. And then Sally here on the right, I also made her a white cat because one, I felt like it was, you know, really elegant looking, but also because um, for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what color to make her to make her also go along with the actual character. So just went with a white cat. And that does it for the entire monthly setup. So we're just going to go back to the front to do a quick little flip through. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my bullet journal setup here for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that shot did not just burn your eyes out as much as it did mine while editing it. I'm so sorry. I've learned I won't make this mistake again. I'm sorry. If you guys want to be able to vote on next month's theme as well as see my weekly videos and me setting them up weekly as well as get some fun little bullet journal stickers. These are transparent stickers and they go along with the theme of each month. Go check out my Patreon. I put all those videos out there. Just plan. Do some art stuff, do some budgeting stuff. It's all over there. It's a lot of fun stuff. We're a fun little, you know, Patreon gang over there. It's my Patreon where things get wild. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you did a theme for October. And if you did, what is it? Like, what did you decide to do? Is it full on Halloween? Did you dive deep into the fall? Maybe. Maybe you did something different. I don't know. Let us know what you did. <laughs> if you decide to use any of these ideas in your future spreads, let me know. You can tag me in pictures and videos. I'd love to see them. It would be fantastic. <laughs> if you guys liked the video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my face and see me try to conquer the human race, be sure to subscribe. You can find me at all of my social media at Quinn Kaylin. We can chat, DM me, we can become best friends. If you post your bullet journals, tag me in them, put me in the comments, send them to me. I love seeing people's bullet journals and the way that everyone likes to keep their life organized because we all can use some tips on how to keep our lives organized. I love and appreciate you guys oh so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! The inspiration behind each creation. She does not want to be on camera right now. Say hi to the people. They've missed you. Hi. <laughs> okay, bye.